Uh, hi everyone. In this uh, video, I will go through an example. So here we have three systems A, B, and C in the feedback form with a uh, unity feedback, indeed unity negative feedback, and we want to evaluate the static error constants KP, KV, and KA for them and find the expected error for the standard step ramp and parabolic inputs R. So here we have the relations between the type of the system uh, and the value for the errors. So we know that for type zero system, the steady state error for ramp and parabola types of inputs are infinity. And for the step type of input, we have a fixed, we have a limited value one over one plus KP. For type one system, we have zero for a step one over kv for the ramp and infinity for the parabola and for type 2 system we have 0 for step 0 for ramp and 1 over ka for the parabola type of input and on the other hand we know that kp the position error constant can be obtained as with this limit limit of l of s as s goes towards 0 kv, the velocity error constant, can be obtained with this limit, s times l of s, as s goes towards zero, and ka, the acceleration error constant, can be calculated as s squared times ls when s goes towards zero. So we need to do, is to do this for all these three systems. For the first case, a, we have l of s equal to 500 times s plus 2 times s plus 5 over s plus 8 times s plus 10 times s plus 12. Uh, therefore, we can start by calculating kp, which is equal to limit of L as s goes towards 0. And by having a look here, we will have 500 times 2 times 5 over 8 times 10 times 12. Uh, okay, so here we can just 2 times 5, 10, 10 from here, 8 times uh, 12 will result in 96. So as a result, we will have Kp equal to 500 over 96, which can be simplified further, but for now, I just keep it like that. Then for this system, Kb, which is equal to limit of SLS as S goes towards 0, will be equal to 0. And Ka, which is equal to limit of s squared times ls as s goes towards zero, will be equal to zero. So these are what we get for this system. Uh, Kv equal to zero. Ka equal to zero. And Kp equal to 500 over 96. Now let's do it for the second system. And then we can plug these values into the these formulas that we have here. Indeed for the first one, because the type of the system is zero and obtain the steady state error values. For the second system, we have a type one system in which L of S is equal to 500 times S plus two times S plus five s plus 6 over s times s plus 8, s plus 10, s plus 12. So for this, kp will be equal to the limit of L of s as s goes towards 0. And since we have uh, this s at the denominator, so the result here will be equal to infinity. 
Therefore, Kp for this system is equal to infinity. And accordingly, the steady state error will be equal to zero. Kb, on the other hand, can be calculated as this limit, s times the log s, as this goes towards zero. And this will be equal to this limit, s times Uh, so sorry for the issue that happened with, with the software. I will just write this again. Here K is, we are going to find out the value for KV, which is obtained from this limit, limit of S times LS as S goes to zero, which is equal to this limit, limit of S times 500 over S times S plus 8 is plus 10 is plus 12 as s goes towards 0 these s's will be cancelled with each other and then the result will be obtained as 500 times uh, okay so this is our error here 500 times 2 times 5 times 6 over 8 times 10 times 12. And again, here we can cancel these with each other. So this will be cancelled, and here we will have 250 over 8. This will be equal to our k. And we can calculate ka as well. So here we have s squared times ls as s goes towards 0. However, this will result in zero for us. So for, for the third system, uh, this is for the second system, we have Kp equal to infinity, Kb 250 over 8 and Ka equal to zero. Now we can do it for the third system as well. So for the third system, we uh, we have a type two system. L of S is equal to this transfer function 500 times all of these, or S squared times these terms here. To calculate Kp, we just take the limit of L as S goes towards 0, and by looking at it, it will be equal to infinity. So here we have Kp equal to infinity. For Kv, we have this limit, limit of S times Ls as S goes towards 0. And again, since we have s squared at the denominator, this will be equal to infinity, and therefore kv will be equal to infinity. And for the third uh, error constant ka, we have this limit s squared times l of s is going to zero, and this one will be a finite value since we have s squared times this the whole transfer function which has is which which has one s squared at the denominator and these s squared will be cancelled with each other and therefore the value for ka will be a limited value which can be obtained as 500 times so let's have a look at the yes the transfer function it will be 500 times 2 times 4, times 5, 6, and 7, over 8 times 10, times 12, uh, which again can be simplified. So these will be cancelled with each other, 10 will be cancelled with 
one zero here and uh, so from here we have two and from here we have 25 as a result k a will be equal to 25 times 35 okay a limited value indeed so for the third case we have this situation k p is equal to infinity k p is equal to infinity and k a is a 25 by 35 so we we wanted to find out this error constant static error constants and at the same time we want to find the expected error for the standard inputs so we can uh, use this table here right now our first system that we have here is type 0 because it doesn't have any pole at the origin this is type 1 because it has one pole at the origin and this is type 2 system so we, we just need to fill out this table here for system 1 2 and 3 and the inputs as the step, standard step ramp and parabola we have 1 over 1 plus kp infinity infinity 0 0 1 over kv 0 1 over ka and infinity in which we have the values already here so this is for for the first system we have kp equal to 500 over 96 I just rewrite the table here so 1 over 1 plus 500 over 96 infinity infinity 0 0 1 over kv for the second system so this is for second system 1 kv is equal to this value 1 over 250 over 8 or 8 over 200 infinity 0 and 1 over ka for the third system 1 over 25 times 35 okay so this is how you can calculate the steady state errors by obtaining the error constants referring to the type of the system and maybe if you want you can just verify it by writing down the relation for, for the error and going through the all the elements uh, all right so again thank you for watching and see you next time